Hey everybody, welcome to our very first question and answer session. We have been getting through some questions through Instagram and WhatsApp and we are going to take some time now and just answer them from our experience and what we've maybe learned over the years. Hopefully it'll be helpful for you. So, question from Instagram, runner beans and monge too. Advice, not sure if I planted them out too early and got frost or they've been getting eaten or not, not enough water. So I've been looking at the photos that have been sent through and it does look like there has been a bit of something eating them. My guess would be slugs, looks like a bit of slug damage. What we normally do is crack some eggshells really, really fine, put them all around the plant or else go out late at night after it's been wet during the day and then they will come out at night because they're nocturnal and just take them off the plant as well. Runner beans as well, we would leave them quite late before planting out. So our last frost date is the end of May. We would wait until probably June before planting them out because they just they, they start so quickly as well that they don't need a massive length of time to get going. So that's what we do for the beans as well. Next question via WhatsApp. What could be eating my marigolds and what can I do? From what it looks like to me, same thing again. Usual suspect, the slugs. So get those eggshells out, get them around the plant. Also, if you have copper tape, you might need a lot. Depends how uh, much of a space you have to cover it. But I find that eggshells works really well um, and also getting rid of them. Hopefully that's helpful. sitting in amongst the tomato plants here because we've got a couple of questions on tomato growing. I'm snipping off bottom branches, is that right? Well what we found here is that what you're looking for here is the main stem and out of that what branches will grow you don't want any more than four to five main stems coming out of that because the more that you have the less nutrients there is actually going through your crop of, of plants here. So what I can show you here is here's our fruits here and what you want to do is remove stems right below that. And here is suckers. These you really do want to remove. The more of these you've got, the more branches you've got, and then less nutrients actually going up and feeding your plants. Easy to remove, finger, thumb, snip it off. We've got another question here, and this is through WhatsApp. I'm scared to print tomatoes in case I pick the wrong leaves off. Which leaves are removed for better fruit? Again, as we were saying there, as well as the suckers, literally any that's below the fruit, and you're all right. So we go one, snip, snip, and literally just keep going, and what you've got is a nice, clean branch. Um, I, have, I have a few questions from Instagram, so my first question is sunflowers, spraying them with a mix of fairy liquid and water, best thing for this. So from your picture I think you might be talking about the white mites or the aphids that are there. Um, first of all what I'd try is getting a few ladybugs, placing them on the sunflowers and see if that does the trick. If that fails, what I would do then is get a mixture of about maybe a tablespoon of the dishwashing liquid that you were thinking about, I would say try something organic like method, something like that rather than very liquid. And then I would add a cup of vegetable oil to that and mix those two together. Then take two grams of that mixture and add that with a cup of water and spray that onto the sunflower, see if that would work. Um, let me know how you get on with that. Then the next thing, uh, the next question I have is what vegetables should I be planting outside in July? Only started this year. Great job on starting is the first thing that I would say to you. Um, this is a great way forward and we'd love to connect with you more and chat about that. Um, I've just written a list here of all the vegetables we've planted because there's so many that you can plant this time of year. Um, there could be any type of salad leaves, pak choy, beetroot, courgettes can actually go directly into the ground as seed now this time of year. Um, we can also plant, we plant runner beans. There's Christmas potatoes, carrots, parsnips, radishes, French beans, spring onions. There's so many things you can plant. Just look at the back of the vegetable packets and it'll just tell you the best time to sow them. So July is kind of your end point for sowing things. Um, and this is when we will be planting, trying to plant everything like crazy for the autumn time. But thank you so much for watching this video. Um, this is our first Q&A video. If you have any other comments, any tips, any questions, 
please comment below um, and we will just answer them in our next Q&A video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell so you can get the notifications um, of our videos as we're posting them. Thanks, bye!